I'm going to do some comparison testing between the new LG Electronics water ionizer, which is the Nexus Smart water ionizer, and the Enagic Levelook SD501 water ionizer. And I, I, I have been doing testing with both of these water ionizers for quite a bit of time now and I'm pretty impressed with the um, the new LG electronics and I thought I would test it against the SD501 and just see how it does. Alright, well anyway I'm going to go ahead and get water started here. Alright, so I've already got these uh, preset to flow at about the same flow rate as each other, which normally, uh, normally I really don't uh, do comparison testing with the SD501 at the same flow rate because it is designed to do a faster flow rate. But just out of fairness to the two ionizers, I'm just doing the same flow rate to make sure I get the same, as you can see it's same flow rate. Alright, now I've got the um, the Nexus Smart Ionizer on the left and the I'm going to go ahead and test that first and we'll see how that does. Now while the pH is settling down I'm going to go ahead and see what the ORP is. And that is just, just an amazing ORP. That is just incredible. Now, I'm going to just flip this over to the SD501. And that is also a good ORP. Um, the ORP is your antioxidants. So, honestly, I'm going to say they're both really excellent ORP and possibly might even be identical. <laughs> so uh, that's that's a definitely high on the antioxidants and I'm going to say um, both did excellent on that. Now the the pH for the and the um, smart ionizer is 10.5 and for the SD501 it's a higher pH 10.9. So really honestly, or 11 actually, so really honestly the for drinking water the the smart ionizer did better. It it gave a um, a better or the uh, the ORP was just as good as each other with the the lower pH and that that is usually an ionizer, the the antioxidants raise as the pH goes up, and so the with that in mind, the SD501 should have had higher antioxidants with a higher pH, but it didn't. All right, but they both did great on the antioxidants, but I just wanted to point that out. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just test the highest level, which is a little on the unfair side to the smart ionizer, because oops, wait a minute, I had that set at the right flow rate. Water, 9.5. Level three alkaline water. So okay, I'm going to pull that up to level four, level four water. So and I'm going to put the SC501 on the. Uh, strong acidic which is the equivalent of level four. Alright now I'm just getting out the highest alkaline for both of them and then I'm also going to get the low acidic. This one is going to want me to raise the flow rate. I'm just going to go through just pH, not ORP, and we'll start out with the Nexus. 
And that's a, that's a respectably high pH, an, an 11 pH. And let's see what the enagic does. Now the enagic is adding a saline solution too. So that is part of what's accounting for that higher number. But you know, the, anyway, there, it, it's, a, it's only a little bit higher. <laughs> I would have actually expected a little bit better than that. All right, and then the uh, acidic, let's, let's do that. The, the nexus is just not as good at the acidic water. It's like a 4.3. And then the Nagic gets a really good acidic water. And, and that's the reason why they use the saline solution is to get a really good acidic water. Um, you're going to have varying results depending on what part of the country you live in. I have a lot of minerals in my water and that's why it's a little harder to get down to that low acidic and the saline solution in the Enagic helps to, uh, it kind of does a little ion exchange kind of thing and it will reduce the hardness and bring it uh, in the acidic water and um, allow it to go down to those lower levels. But that that is not necessarily the best thing for the ionizer itself. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to do a little cleaning of this ionizer, just, to, just flushing it out to make sure that that strong uh, saline solution gets flushed out of the ionization chamber. And you should do that if, if you are using any kind of saline. You should definitely clean it out of the ionization chamber after you're done to using it so that you're not either drinking it or um, leaving it in the chamber to corrode the plates. All right, well, um, that's all I've got for now, and look for more in my blog. Thanks.